Hello and welcome to another tutorial from rcvacademy.com. Today we are going to learn how to install Python and pip on Mac OS. So on my screen you can see the key steps that we'll be following today in order to install the Python and pip on Mac OS. So the first and second steps are sort of prerequisite which is basically going to the website python.org and then navigating to the download section and downloading the correct installer as per your platform and operating system. So these are the prerequisite in order to go ahead and start installation of the Python and pip. Installation is very straightforward and there is no complexity at all in installing Python and pip on the Mac OS. Now the next step is uh, the fourth step is basically to configure the path which is uh, most of the time you will be uh, this path will be automatically configured once the installation is done but in case it is not configured for you I'll walk you through how you can go ahead to the bash profile and set up this path and add the path in the bash profile so let's get started so the first step is basically to go to google.com and just type in um, Python download and it will navigate you to the relevant section so here you can see that download python just click on the download link and on the downloads page you can see that in the download section you have different platform and os so for example you are using windows or mac os or other platforms so i'm on mac at the moment click on mac and then go to the download so latest Python 3 release is Python 3.8.1. You need to go ahead and download that. The other thing to note is that Mac OS by default comes with Python 2.7 already shipped. So Python 2 is already installed in Mac OS. Now, if you want to check that Python is already installed, you simply go to the terminal and just type in Python minus hyphen V and you will see Python 2 is already installed on my Mac machine. So what I'm going to do is I want to use the latest version of Python. So I'll download Python 3.8.1, which I have already downloaded and stored it in a folder. So let me open the download section. So here in my downloads folder, I have already downloaded Python. Let me uh, maximize that. And what you just simply have to do is simply just double click on the package and the installer will open. Now here you can see that welcome to Python installer window appears and you can read the detail here. So you can see that it also includes the idle which is the integrated development environment for Python and then it also includes pip in the installation okay so by default if you follow the default installation the pip will be installed automatically so i'll click on continue and here you can see that a lot of details that you if you want to read through go through it and read it um, you don't need to worry much about that click on continue then you have the license history and license you just click on continue and you have to agree to the license and terms and condition read the license and click on agree and now here you can see that it will show you the, the space that it's going to take on your computer and then you have the option to customize so if you click on customize you can see here that install or upgrade pip checkbox is checked right so that's basically indicates that pip will be installed automatically as part of this installation unless until you uncheck this bo box okay so pip is necessary it's a tool for installing and managing the python packages okay so we'll just include that because we need to use pip uh, to install other packages from um, for our other tutorials so i'll just leave it as checked and click on standard install and click on install now it will ask for the password so your mac password so just provide the mac password and click on install software okay so now it will prepare uh, and configure and write the files on your machine and install your python now it will take some time 
before it finishes the installation. So now you can see on my screen that it has popped up a window or the folder where it has placed all the Python 3.8 files and then in the installer section you can see the installation was completed successfully and 3.8.1 for Mac OS has been successfully installed. So we'll close this window and verify the installation has been successful. So we'll open the terminal now. Okay. And let me clear the screen. Now, if we just say Python hyphen V, then it points to Python default Python, which is Python 2.7. So if you want to run the command for Python 3, which we have just installed, we just need to say Python 3 and then hyphen V to see the version. And now you can see Python 3.8.1 has been installed successfully. Similarly, we want to check that pip has been installed. So we'll just say pip hyphen V and enter and it will display that pip has been. So at the moment you can see that pip is uh, pip 118.0 is being picked up from the Python library, which is at 2.7. So what we need to do is because we have also installed pip3, so we just need to say pip3-v and then it will display that pip19.2.03 and it will pick that from the Python version 3.8, okay? So if you say Python and pip, then it will point to Python 2.7 if you want to specifically mention Python 3 or pip3, then you have to say Python 3 or pip3 to run the command for Python 3 and pip3. Now, the last step that we mentioned is, so if we go to the um, slide here again, so we have uh, downloaded the installer, we have installed the Python and pip package installer for Python already, and we have checked the version that we have already successfully installed Python 3 and pip. Now, configuring path or adding Python and pip path is also important, which has been automatically done in our case. And I'll show you just in case you are having issues, how you can add these paths, okay? So we'll go to the terminal again. Now, in, in case these paths are not added, so this is the path that you can see where it is getting the packages, right? So library frameworks, Python dot framework versions and the library, right? So if we go to the bash profile, so if you just do CD, it will go take you to the home directory. And uh, then you can simply use the VI editor and say dot bash and profile. So in my case, I have the bash profile file already most of the time or it might be possible that you don't have this file at all then you need to create this bash profile and we'll just simply to create this file what you can do is you, you simply say touch and name of the file so for example i'll say test okay and it will create the file test if you can see the test has been created so in case you don't have the bash pro profile you simply say touch and then name of the file okay so since we have the bash profile i'll simply open the bash profile and show you the details of the file right so if you see that setting path for python 3.a automatically it has been set up because it was not there previously when python 3.8 was not there so in case it is this path is not there or file doesn't exist what you simply have to do is simply have to provide this command here path there is no space equal to and then quotes and the location of your bin directory the python 3.a so library frameworks python dot framework versions 3.a and bin and then colon and dollar path okay so this dollar path what it mentions is basically that append this path to the existing path and then the next command is the export command export path and once you do this it will export this path or append this path into the path variable okay so similarly like java home path is already there the python path has been added there as well okay 
now if we go back I'll close this window here and if we go back now here and echo the path so if we echo dollar path uh, prior to that you need to restart your terminal so close the terminal and open the terminal again and in this terminal if we just say echo dollar uppercase path you will see that the path for the python that we have configured has been set up along with the other paths that were there already okay so that's basically how you will set up the path for the python after the installation has been successful and we have already verified the installation for the python 3 and pip 3 so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching